Oh boy. To God be all the glory. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Glory to God. You know, uh, we have been giving God thanks and praise for all uh, he has done. And sometimes I can't utter the words. You know, I, I, sometimes I can't find it. When I begin to think of all that God has done, not only in my life, but in the life of this ministry, World Harvest Deliverance Center, you know, we've been um, looking back on what God has been doing as we did a little um, a little review of the church's history. So we've done a little bit every night and we've gotten to the point where um, <clears throat> the Lord allowed the vision that he's given unto our pastor of having a Christian academy in the United States to happen in 2009. Praise God. Put your hands together and bless God. Now, the academy continues to press forward. Its alumni shine wherever they go. And, you know, I think it's last night we had a testimony about that. Uh, they have gone on to pursue higher education at various universities in the United States of America. To date, two of our junior high, um, I'm sorry, two of our high school graduates, um, well, junior high at the time, they, uh, they were selected to be a part, upon entry into high school, be a part of um, SEO, which is Seizing Every Opportunity Scholars Program. Uh, they were there, they're being mentored and guided in their preparation for college, and um, they were afforded the opportunities to receive full funding for their pursuit of higher education. WHDC Christian Academy maintains its goal to keep its students through um, high school and on to college. It's still a vision uh, to be realized. It continues to pursue its mission while honoring its motto, committed to a standard of excellence. On October 29, 2012, the northeastern regions of the United States of America encountered the superstorm Hurricane Sandy. This storm was a tragic uh, experience for our city and particularly the community of Far Rockaway. Being obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit, the following Sunday, which was November 4th, uh, 2012, Reverend Trevor L. Rankin, despite the devastating state of the community, opened the doors of the sanctuary. The brethren assembled to have a praise service in the dark. It was there that Bishop Alton and Dr. Melanie Samuels and the brethren of Full Gospel Tabernacle of Faith Church Incorporated came to our aid. They greeted the World Harvest Deliverance Center, Inc. with a scrumptious Sunday dinner and welcomed the community to join in in enjoying the meal. With this, God had opened the door for the restoration of favor, bringing, forth, bringing to fruition sorry, the ministry's vision of having a food pantry. Throughout the months of recovery, World Harvest Deliverance Center, Incorporated uh, served as a distribution center until under the auspices of the Campaign Against Hunger, formerly known as Best Die Campaign Against Hunger. It is an organization affiliated with Full Gospel Tabernacle of Faith Church Incorporated, which seeks to end hunger in the communities it serves. During the months of recovery, Immediately following the storm, members of the Far Rockaway community were able to come and receive much needed food and emergency supplies. And today, the food pantry continues to be a source of healthful food to numerous families in the community. <laughs> Truly, God has proved his faithfulness as he brought into reality the fulfillment of the ministry's vision to minister to the whole man. Praise God. That's it for tonight. And... Um, I wanted to give my testimony too. <laughs> um, I believe it was sometime uh, last year. I don't remember. I think it was during the anniversary or maybe it was uh, some other event that we had um, during the course of the year. And, and last year, for those of you who are familiar with, um, it was difficult. Last year, yes, it was 2023 and it was that year um, 
in the month of March that I was um, diagnosed with a, a chronic, uh, what should I say, respiratory disease. Um, it's known as ARD, acerbated respiratory something something. I can't remember right now. <laughs> My brain is tired this evening, but um, you know, uh, it, the Lord has been taking me through, and I remember um, it was Lady Chambers that says, you're going to have a testimony, and I do. I do have the testimony uh, with regards to that. It's a process that I'm going through, but God has been so good and so faithful. Um, I remember um, my lungs was not functioning very well uh, as I did all the different tests and scans, and I think at one um a point in time when uh, the function of my lungs was tested, I, I think it was the it, it, the lungs had equivalent to that of a 60-year-old. And then um, it got even worse as the months went by. It was, I think it was 76 or something after that. But um, I watched the Lord. It continued just pushing forward, just pushing forward irrespective of what is going on. And, and, and when you, you can't breathe, I don't think we could imagine what it feels like if you've had that experience of you're not able to breathe. And somehow in those times, I call on God and I pray even more. And, and what he has done, he's taken the prayer away from myself to others. And, um, you know, I, I, I remember we were having a challenging time at school. And um, it was one day I... We were having an extremely challenging time, and it's Drinkin and I were having a challenging time. And I remember I asked the children, "You have to help me to pray, pray um, to praise." While I just read scriptures as we believe God um, to to this as this crisis was going on that we were dealing with, and I'm reading scriptures, and the children are praising God, and. We had um, one particular uh, a child. I didn't know she had it in her. I guess she was she was crying out unto God and as the, the 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 challenge that we had culminated it just just kept building up building up and we're we're holding on and we were seeking of what to do you know um and, and God sent a strong man and when the strong man that particular strong man walked through those doors that child I did not know what I thought she was in her own distress I have never heard it. She shouted out, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. I'm, I'm like, God, you're so good. You know, even throughout all of that, God has been so good. And when I go, it, you know, the Lord um, is healing my, my lungs. The, the issue is still there. But the lung is somehow, the, the function is improving. And the doctors would ask me, what did you do? How did you get these, your, your blood, um, the eosinophils and the, the levels have been high. Those are for when you have a, a, some sort of um, distress or allergy or virus or something in your body is going wrong. It's, um, you're supposed to have a small number and my number has been, it's supposed to be less than 100 or um, 100 or less and mine was in the thousands. And I remember the doctor said, what did you do? I said, I didn't do anything but change what I eat. I followed the rules. And it really is just God. So I'm here to give him all the glory. He, is, he may not have, have, have healed me in the way that I wanted it, but he's taking me through. And it's making me more mindful. And I just have to bless him. Sometimes the body can't handle it, but I bless him anyhow until the voice comes through. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Can we put our hands together for Evangelist Bowman? Yeah, we work together. We serve together. And we, we go through. We, exp we watch her just struggling to breathe and having to teach. But God is faithful. Hallelujah. Remember that incident was a very, very challenging day with a very, very difficult student. And, um, it, you know, I'm telling you, God sent someone to come in. And when that person came in, actually, it was a pastor. And he, as he walked through the door, I mean, one of the students just shout out the loudest, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It was coming from the depth of her soul when she saw that man of God walked in and he took charge of the situation. You know, God is faithful. God is faithful. And if you're serving God, if you're serving God and you don't have a testimony, 
then you need to be on the altar because God is a deliverer. He's a healer. He, he's, he's everything. He's more than enough.